Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. I know I am very late and today I am back with another amazing custom ROM for our Redmi Note 11 and uh, this is the Pixel OS and uh, it's Android version Android 12 large and uh, no it's not the large it's a simple android 12 and its security patch is all the way latest 5 july 2022 and this rom is pretty much stable clean uh, decent rom and uh, pretty much simple the quality of this rom is pretty much good the speed of this rom is also good and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can install it on your redmi note 11 and i will also show you a short review of this rom so without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, if you want to install it on your Redmi Note 11, then you have to just download the ROM from the link in the description and the RTWRP recovery or any custom recovery should be installed on your Redmi Note 11. If you have not installed a recovery yet, then you can watch the video from the link in the description and I will also provide the link in the i button. So after downloading that ROM from the link in the description, reboot your device into the recovery by pressing and holding power button plus volume up button. And it will boot into the TWRP recovery. After going into the recovery, go to wipe, click on format data and here you have to type yes and just click on tick this tick button. After wiping, uh, after formatting the data, you just have to go into the install, locate the downloaded ROM, mine is in the SD card, uh, because uh, the recoveries are uh, not decrypted for now for our Redmi Note 11, that's why it is not showing in the internal storage, and that's why I am using the external SD card, and uh, in the SD card here we have the Pixel OS Spec uh, 12. Uh, point one just click on it and install it right from here after installing the ROM you just have to go into the advance and click on flash current recovery or flash current TWRP recovery and it will make it permanent on your device so just so after doing these steps just go to uh, reboot click on system and the ROM will be installed on your Redmi Note 11 in a few seconds. So before doing the review, make sure to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for future updates. We really need your support. So as you can see here, the device has been booted up and the Pixel OS is installed on my Redmi Note 11. First of all, there is no a lot of junky application. There are few, only few needed applications pre-installed as you can see here and if you want more application then you just have to go into the play store and download and install any application you want so first of all let's talk about the camera in the camera we have this simple camera just allow the permissions and as you can see here it is working pretty much cool taking pictures taking videos and if you want more options like pre, uh, night mode and portrait mode and uh, so forth and you can then you can install the gcam for our red website 925modes.com and other than that in the home screen here we have pixel launcher with some minimum settings and then we have wallpapers and styles from here you can change the wallpaper here we have a bunch of wallpapers right here because here we have the google wallpaper application then you can change the wallpaper color we also have the basic color and uh, from the widgets as you know the android 12 has a lot of beautiful widgets you can add any widget you want let me add this one okay uh, it looks pretty much cool right here so other than that we don't have a lot of the application as i already said and from the left you can get the google now which is also called the google feed and from the top you can access the quick settings you can edit it out you can get the power button power options and you can go into the settings in the settings we don't have a lot of customizations in this rom because this is a pixel based custom rom so as first of all we have network and internet connected devices apps notification battery and the battery performance of this rom is also pretty much good and here we have thermal profiles 
battery usage, battery saver, battery percentage, adaptive preferences. Then we have storage. After it, we have the sound and vibration. From here, you can access the sound and all other vibration settings. Right from here, you can change the ringtone, notification tone, and you can also adjust the vibration and haptics. Then we have display. In the display, we have brightness level, adaptive brightness. Right, we have lock screen display settings. Then we have screen timeout. You can enable or disable the dark theme. You can adjust the font sizes, display size. You can also manage the icons for the status bar. And here we also have the night light, which is adjustable. And uh, live display colors. You can change the color profile right from here. I am. I want to use the saturated. So after it, from here you can also enable the 90 hertz refresh rate uh, by enabling this smooth display option. And uh, here we have peak uh, force, peak refresh rate, auto rotation, tap to sleep, tap to wake, full screen apps, and app refresh rate. Then we have uh, wallpaper and style accessibility security. In this security, we have all. Uh, security options and they all are working fine as you can see here, here we have the face unlock and fingerprint which is working fine and all other screen locks are also working pretty much good then we have privacy location safety and emergency passwords and accounts digital well-being google system in the system we have languages and input life translate gestures in the gestures here we have a lot of gestures right here so first of all we have quick tap to start action then we have swipe three fingers for screenshot then we have navigation uh, gesture one-handed mode which is one of my favorite feature from the Android 12 it really makes your usage very easy and uh, you can simply operate uh, the whole phone screen with just using one hand and after it we have power button gestures you can also enable the advanced re restart then we have playback control and double tap to check phone which is uh, pretty much similar to always on display it looks pretty much cool on this AMOLED display so after it uh, we have date and time backup multiple users reset options and at the end here we have about phone and from here you can check in its android version which is android 12 basically this is the android 12.1 and uh, the security patch of the ROMs is also all the way latest 5 July 2022 as I already said so this was the review of this ROM yes this ROM is pretty much stable and you can also use this ROM for your daily driver if you want and uh, uh, no further comments on this ROM because I really like this ROM on my Redmi Note 11 so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button let us know your opinions uh, about this room in the comment section subscribe to the channel and uh, keep supporting peace